Hi there, in this video we are gonna make a hand planer with an old cut and this from an angle grinder and a little bit of plywood. Once the plans are printed, check with the middle all measures are okay just to make sure they are in the right scale. Cut the frames taken care of the grid using a ruler. Put them together by matching the grids using transparent tape. Cut all the pieces using the cutting list. You can write a number on each piece to make the assembly easier. Needless to say, all the pieces must be cut at such sides and squaring. Remember to be careful with saw table. Glue all the templates to the hot plate using the spray adhesive. Cut all the pieces on the saw table, you'll need a jig for carved cuts. You can use the pieces you've already cut as a template for the new ones. Cut the pieces for the hole of the blade on a exact angle. You better use a matter gauge and a stop block to make them all equal. Drill the holes for the towers to make the assembly faster, easier and accurate. Use the stop block again to make sure we all get exactly the same dimension. Sand all the edges to remove all the little remaining good fiber so we can get a perfect distribution of the glue and a better fit. Apply all the glue and get all the pieces together. Put the dowels in place and hold it all with clamps. Once the glue is dry, we can start sanding. Give the handle its final ergonomic shape to make it fit comfortably in your hand. The more time you spend doing this, the better the result will be. It is so important that this step to leave the base where we will place the blade completely flat to avoid vibration that could leave scratch marks when using the hand planer. 
Pay careful attention here. With sandpaper glued to a wooden block, sand the base of the hand planer to leave it perfectly square. If not, it won't work properly. You can draw some parallel marks with the pencil so you can know when the job is done. Here you can use a rasp to square the blade hole. At this point the varnish can already be applied. I use the coats of nitrocellulose spray lacquer. Glue for pieces of plywood to build the wedge. Once it is dry, mark it and cut it with the bench saw. Sand it using the sandpaper. To make the blade, you can recycle and or cut in this from an angle grinder. You can use a good template of the same side to mark the disc before cutting. Use a pair of clamps to hold the disc firmly on a table. And some water to cool the disc and keep it tempered. Don't forget to put on your gloves and safety goggles to protect your hands and face. Remember the grinder is a dangerous tool. Sand it with the belt sander, making sure it remains square. Now we use the emery to achieve the right angle of the blade. Don't forget to check the squaring and use water to keep it cold. Sharp the blade using a two different grain sharpening stone and oil. Make sure all the surface is in contact with the stone in every moment. It should take at least 10 minutes each side. You'll know you're doing it right by checking the marks on the edge. Now we can cut the steel pipe and we will be ready to finish the assembly and try it. Take in mind that even though this blade can work as a commercial one, it won't be as hard. So you will have to chop it more open. To achieve a good setup, the good chip thickness should be about 250 microns.